Hello. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, using Link to Query XML. Uh, to start things off, we'll create a simple console application. Uh, console, let's just call this Link to XML. Okay. And um, let's see, I'm going to need some XML data that we can use to query, so let's shift over to uh, SQL Management Studio and you'll recognize this database we used in a previous screencast where we created a database in Azure and in fact this database is in Azure right now you'll see we've got cruises, places, positions, time zones we've got a little Transact SQL here which is going to write out this data in XML format so we'll go ahead and run that and we've, we can bring up our XML, you see we've got our XML so let's shift back to um, Visual Studio and what we'll do is um, let's see we'll go ahead and um, bring in uh, we'll add the XML so we'll say add existing item and we'll shift over here we'll come into SQL Management Studio and we're not seeing these because they're XML files let's um, let's just show all here. We'll bring in the sample data and you can see we have our XML here and it's well formed XML. We've got um, <coughs> we've got our outer positions element and our inner positions children with uh, various attributes and so we can uh, use this data to query from link. So let's close that. Um, oh, one thing I want to do, uh, I don't want to forget this, is set properties change this from do not copy which is the default to copy if newer Let's save that okay um, so now um, let's take a look at what it would have been done prior to link uh, for querying our XML um, so the first thing we would do is um, we would create an XML XML document um, Let's see, equals, we'll new up this XML document. There we go. Um, we've got to bring in that namespace. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And then we need to load it. So we say doc.load. And then we'll say positions. And ours is called sample.xml. And then the third thing we're going to do is create a root element here equals a root node uh, doc dot document element. So we'll get the root level. Sorry, that's there. Okay. Uh, so we get the root, we get the top level document element. Um, and then basically we'll just call a recursive method to parse the XML. So let's call that recurse node and we'll pass the root in and then we'll pass a, an int which will indicate the indentation level so we'll start with zero no indentation and then we'll keep incrementing that um, let's go ahead and create that okay um, this actually is going to be XML node um, and I think what we'll call, we'll call it um, node and then this will be level Okay, and I'll go ahead and copy in the code to save you waiting for me to type this. But you'll see what we're doing here. We'll go over that in a second. Um, okay, so let's uh, go over this method. Let's see. Um, first, we're going to um, uh, display, you know, using our level here as an indentation, we'll display the node name. And then we'll check for attributes. Um, if we find that we have attributes, then we'll circle, we'll uh, cycle through the attribute collection, uh, displaying the attribute name using the appropriate um, indentation. And then we'll do the same thing for the child nodes, um, and but we'll call recurse node there, and then we'll, we're bumping up the indentation here. So this is a recursive method and um, we'll go ahead and run that. Wait, I've got to do one more thing so you can see what's going on. Um, console dot, yeah, do this. Um, uh, 
Okay, and then we'll do dot read. Okay, I'm gonna fix this. <coughs> okay, so I think we're ready to run. Let's go ahead and run this. See what we get. Yep. Okay, so you see we get our um, uh, we get our XML um, printed out here. Okay, so um, so this is typically what we would have done. So it's basically quite a bit of work. Um, you know, when we don't have a link to use. So let's take a look at what link brings to the table. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, co and um, comment this out. And I'm going to comment this out. And then we'll just add our link code down here. So the first thing we're going to want to do with link is create an XML, an X document. Um, document oops, position sample positions sample XML and we're going to bring in the namespace, the link namespace which will um, bring this X document in to scope Okay, now we'll run our actual um, link command. So let's say var cruise um, equals, and we'll do from p in doc dot root dot elements position, and uh, our where is going to be um, this is a nullable int. And we're going to say, we're going to look at an attribute here. And we're going to look at the cruise ID attribute. And we'll say um, if that cruise ID attribute is 2, then we'll go ahead and select. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And run this. Um, Oh, actually, you know, what I want to do is break right here so I can show you what we've gotten the returned uh, object here, return collection. So let's drill down into this return collection and see what we got. Um, so we basically have queried for certain XML nodes, and you, you'll see we're returning the actual XML, which might not be what we want here. We want to convert this into another object that we can work with and pull just the items we need. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And um, Link has a feature called projections which will allow us to do that. And um, I want to create a new dynamically typed object. You, you can um, create typed objects, um, you know, uh, strictly typed objects I, I should say, um, but we'll just do a dynamic object here. Um, let's go ahead and say new and then we're going to say position ID equals, and that's a nullable int. Let's see, p dot attribute um, position okay, and then we're going to say longitude, and this is a double, a nullable double, so this is an element not an attribute. Okay, and then the next thing is latitude. Another um, nullable. Another element. Um, okay. So let's see what we've got here. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm still in the debugger. Okay, let's go ahead and run this now. Okay, we're going to drop, we're going to take a look at the collection that was returned. So you can see we've got our dynamic object being populated with the data from the XML. We've populated it with attributes and actual element data. And so you can see how powerful Link is in these two statements. We've done a, 
the equivalent of what these four and um, these maybe eight, ten odd statements did. So uh, link definitely much simpler. Um, so let's see, that's about it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look into link to XML. It's very powerful. Um, we'll do more with this in the future, but I just wanted you to see what this is about. Um, bye for now.